Hey guys, uh, Aaron, uh, this time, first petty I've really ever bought, never had much use for one until saw this one, um, this is the Kohetsu Hat 40, um, western style, uh, petty, I believe it's 150 millimeters long, uh, don't quote me on that, uh, only reason why I did get it in western is because they were out of the, uh, wa style, but, I mean, it, for knives this size, I don't, you know, it's fine, you know, I find no, no big problems with it, <clears throat> just preference, um, so I've had it since, G I want to say January, and I just took it to the stone for the first time, uh, about, probably two, three weeks ago. And, um, I use mine as a, as a petty where you're paring knife, you know, so it's all off, you know, mainly it's off the board. So, you know, your, your edge isn't going to really degrade very fast. And only reason why I did it was because I, uh, forget I had to cut something on the fly and had a small chip in it. Not very big. But, um, the bevels are, uh, asymmetrical, as you can tell. There's the primary, you know, the... Which in, it's probably like three degrees if, you know, I'm splitting hairs here really, but it's very low. And then the other side is a standard, you know, 15-ish degrees. So it's about 18 degrees total, give or take, no micro bevel. But, um, you know, half 40, you know, as I did the um, review already of the uh, Gyoto version, it'll take a very good edge and it'll hold it a long time. I mean, I think this knife came with the... Uh, I want to say maybe a 2,000, maybe a 4,000 edge, maybe. And, you know, out of the box, you know, absolutely no problems. You know, really good toothing sharpness. So, you know, if I didn't, you know, get those, that little chip in there, I probably wouldn't have done anything with it. Um, but this, I did touch it up just for this, this video, just so you can see what it's like with a, you know, a more you know, nice, good, fresh edge. It was, uh, touched up just couple of light strops on a um, Honyama natural stone which is about you know with naturals you know you really kind of throwing darts but it's a um, probably a level 4 level 5 hardness so maybe 15,000 and once you get with the pressures and such but um as far as cutting there will be a couple of cutting things in this video just to demonstrate things but I mean it's a paring knife. Once you boil it down, you know, you're not gonna, you know, could you slice onions with it? Could you dice onions with it? Sure. Yeah. You know, hell, you can do that with a fillet knife. But as I say, I like to tend to try and keep my tools to the use they were made for. So peeling items, um, you know, dicing shallots, that's, you know, it's good for that. But for the most part, you gotta remember guys, it's a paring knife, you know uses such i actually got this a lot when i was doing um uh for mango season they you know it works really good with that so is a suji but you know i just wanted an excuse to buy a new knife i guess um so yeah like i say it's a honyama you know just you know touch up edge with a leather strap finish just real quick and so This isn't too, and this is like no pressure. This is just letting the knife do all the work. Usually do this with a larger tomato, but uh, if any of you guys follow me on Facebook and such, you know that every once in a while I actually uh, peel grapes and such, which is, those are fun. Test out your edges and you know, see how good your knife control is. Um, it is a stainless steel jacket, so that's, you know, that's always nice. Um, it will get scratches and all that because it is kind of, you know, it has a nice little polished, you know, polish to it. So, you know, unless you're really anal about it, you know, it'll, you know, you don't want to keep it 100%. So. So, yeah, works really good for that. And then if you really want to get Jackson Pollock, you can turn that into a rose. I've done that before. It's always fun. Um... So radish, 
you know, it is nice and thin behind the edge and such. Uh, um, you know, I mean, the, the, it is, this is a tricky one to kind of almost review in a way when I think about it because, you know, how much actual, you know, theoretical cutting do you do with a parry knife unless you're just grab it, you know, because that's the closest thing you have to it. Uh, but, we will do some cutting, so. See, it, it, it is pretty much kind of a, at least with the radish, was a, is kind of a flat grind. At least as far as I can tell, because, personally, I think it'd be a little hard to try to do a uh, convex with a, uh, yeah, you know, this kind of knife. Personally, I'm not a knife maker, so I just use them. So let's see. And if you do end up wanting to try to use this as a knife knife, you are going to have to pull your product more towards the edge of your board and, you know, have your uh, hand out in the... Uh, off your board. So, like I say, it is possible, you know, don't, don't get me wrong, but, you know, I personally, like I say, try to keep things for, you know, their intended purpose. So, speaking of, uh, stickage tests, let's, you know, test on a potato. Like I say, radish is already telling us that it probably is a flat grind, but we will see. Little bit of stickage. Okay, maybe I gotta take back that comment about it being not convex. It might be a little bit, but um, it does have a really nice, you know, good amount of flat flat space to it. You know, you know, right about your three quarters mark where it hits the uh, up sweep. Um, so. Yeah, this, like I say, this is going to be a kind of a shorter review, you know, I can't really go into a super, super depth, it, it is a parry knife, so, as I've said probably five times in this video already, I haven't kept count. And because we have to have some sort of onion, if you have seen a couple of my videos... Small knife for a small shallot. So, yeah, you can see it does wedge a little bit because you know you don't have that, you know, the height to make up for a super super thin edge. You could thin this out and all that, really make it into a laser, but um, you know, I would assume they have to keep these somewhat, you know, kind of beefy because if not, you know, when the heat they go to heat treat them, they'd probably be very uneven and such. Again, I'm guesstimating here. So, like I said, you know, if you're a home cook who, you know, I know a lot of home cooks, you know, like pairing knives and all that, you know, this is a nice little, you know, kind of a bridger, I would almost say. So yeah, it's got to adjust your technique a little bit for it to really work, but yeah, really good solid pair knife for, or petty if you would, for, you know, you know, for you know, those who are looking for one, I would strongly recommend it, and I'd say that's all we got for this review. Thanks again, guys.